we're going to thread a straw onto a piece of string. The string is then going to be stretched between two chairs so that the string is horizontal to the ground and secured tightly around the second chair to make the string taut so we don't get too much friction between the straw and the string. Pull the chair back a little bit to make sure the string is tight without pulling over either chair. We're now going to pull the straw all the way back to the edge of the chair as a starting point and put one breath of air into a balloon. The balloon is then going to be secured to the straw using a length of uh, adhesive tape and the adhesive tape needs to be put over the top of the straw. The balloon is underneath the straw and you push it down tight. Pull the straw all the way back to the chair and then when you're ready, release the balloon. The balloon will whiz along using the thrust um, to push it forwards and friction from air resistance and friction with the string will slow it down. Use a meter rule to see how far the thrust from one breath has pushed your balloon on its straw along the string. Measure that, put it into your results table and then take your straw back to the starting place. You can repeat your experiment, put one breath of air into your balloon, make sure it's still firmly attached, pull the straw back to the beginning and release. So for our second trial it hasn't gone quite as far but we'll measure it, measure it to the same point on the straw, record that result in your results table and then repeat for a third trial. So again try to put in exactly the right amount of air, so one breath on this one, I don't quite get it right. That's a bit small compared to before, so we're trying to get the same amount of air in. Secure it, have it at the start, and release, and measure your third trial's results using a ruler, measuring it to the same place on the straw each time. Put the result into your results table, and now you can repeat using two breaths of air for each of your trials.